This video is a simple guide to installing mods for Bone Lab on both Quest and PC. This video covers every type of mod and makes getting any and all mods as simple as possible and all done in game after initial setup. I will first be explaining the process for PC users, so if you're on Quest, skip to the timestamp on screen now. And without further ado, here's the setup. First and foremost, you're going to need Melon Loader, so go ahead and click the first link in the description and it will take you to the Melon Loader wiki. From here, all you need to do is scroll down and you'll see automated installation. Just click download for melonloader.installer.exe. When your download is finished, go ahead and open up the Melon Loader installer and you'll be greeted to this GUI. For here, it'll say Unity Game. You can click select and now go to where you have Bone Lab installed. Because I have the game on Steam, it's in my Steam Apps folder. So Bone Lab and then go down to your bonelab.exe. Next, for version, uncheck latest and switch it to whatever version it says in the description. And then for you, you'll have the option to install. Go ahead and click install. After Melon Loader installation is complete, launch Bone Lab one time and once the game fully loads up, you can close it. Next, click the second link in the description and you'll be taken to a GitHub page for a mod called Bone Lib. All you need to do is click on bonelib.dll and bonelibupdater.dll and go ahead and download those. Next, open the folder where your BoneLab EXE is located. This is where BoneLab is installed. And go to the two files you just downloaded, and you're gonna put bonelib.dll in mods, and you're going to put bonelibupdater.dll in plugins. Now, head to the fourth link in the description, and you'll be taken to the Thunderstore page for the Thunderstore Mod Assistant for BoneLab. Simply click on Manual Download, and open the zip. Now, reopen the folder where your BoneLab EXE is located, and you're simply gonna drag and drop the Melon Loader Mods and Plugins folders right here next to your EXE. And if it asks you to replace any files, go ahead and replace them, and everything will go in its proper place automatically. This part of the PC installation is now finished, so skip to this timestamp to continue the tutorial, as now I will be going over the steps for Quest users. For installation on Quest, you need to already be in developer mode, have side quest, and a PC for the initial setup. There's a video link at the bottom of the description if you don't know how to install side quest and enable developer mode. The very first thing you're going to want to do is open up side quest and connect your headset. Next, click manage files on headset, go to Android, OBB, and scroll down until you have com.stresslevel0.bonelab. You're going to want to save this somewhere. For ease of use, I'm just going to save it to my desktop. So I'm going to click Save, and it's automatically set as my desktop. Save to PC. Now, this is going to take a minute, but when it's done, come back. Once that's finished, click the third link in the description, and you'll be taken to the Lemon Loader GitHub. Scroll down until you see Melon Loader Installer Permission Bypass APK. Click it and download it. Once that download is done, open back up SideQuest, and click Install APK File from Folder on Computer in the top right. Then, click on the installed APK you just downloaded. Once that finishes, go back to Manage Files on the headset, go to Android, Data, scroll down to com.stresslevel0.bonelab, click on Files, and Mods, go ahead and delete that folder. It's important to note that deleting this folder will delete any currently installed mods, so it is recommended you re-download them after successfully patching your game with Lemon Loader. This next step is to back up your save and is not required. Simply go to Android, Data, com.stresslevel0.bonelab, Files, and now you can save this folder called Saves. I'm going to put it on my desktop for ease of access. Save to PC. Final thing we're doing in SideQuest, go to the top right, click Device Settings and Tools, scroll down until you see Proximity Sensor. Go ahead and click on Disable Proximity Sensor. From your headset now, click on Library, go to Unknown Sources, and click on Lemon Installer. You'll get a little prompt, go ahead and click Allow, OBB Folder Permissions, for this, just go ahead and click skip. 
data folder permission for this, go ahead and also click skip. And for storage permission, click on setup. Allow access to manage all files. Check. Back arrow. Install permission. Set up. Check. Back. And that's it. Now, go to Bone Lab. You'll get a little warning. Click understood. And then for you, it'll just say patch. Go ahead and click patch. This will take a little minute. Don't take off your headset. Just let it patch. You'll get a little thing saying failed to save game data. Do you want to continue? Go ahead and click yes. And do you want to uninstall this app? Okay. It'll uninstall and then click on install on this prompt. You'll get a little restore app thing. Just close it. Completed. The app was patched successfully. Okay. Now the next step here, I don't remember. Now the next step here is to open your library once again. And this time you're just going to boot Bone Lab. Now you'll be stuck on these three dots for at least four minutes. So you can take your headset off now that you've disabled the proximity sensor. So all you gotta do is just leave your headset for at least four minutes and then come back. After four minutes, if your game still has a black screen and hasn't loaded yet, don't worry. All you need to do now is restart your headset, then plug it back into your PC. Now in SideQuest, go to Android, OBB, scroll down to com.stresslevel0.bonelab, and delete this folder. Now drag back in the OBB folder we got earlier. Next, if you backed up your save, go to Android, Data, scroll down to com.stresslevel0.bonelab, Files, and Saves, go ahead and delete that folder. Then, drag and drop the saves folder you had earlier. If the com.stresslevel0 folder isn't in your Android data folder, don't panic. All you need to do is boot up the game one time, and then do as I just said to drag and drop your save back in. Now, go ahead and click the second link in the description. You'll be taken to a GitHub page for a mod called BoneLib. All you need to do is click on BoneLib.dll and BoneLibUpdater.dll and go ahead and download those. Next, you're going to navigate to the root of your Quest storage device. You're going to scroll down until you see a folder called Melon Loader. You're going to open that and then you're going to open com.stresslevel0.bonelab and then you're going to open your mods folder. You're going to drag and drop the BoneLib DLL you just downloaded right here. Next, you're going to go up a folder, so click com.stresslevel0.bonelab, and then you're going to go into plugins. Here, you're going to drag and drop bonelibupdater.dll. Now, head to the fourth link in the description, and you'll be taken to the Thunderstore page for the Thunderstore Mod Assistant for BoneLab. Simply click on Manual Download, and open the zip. Now, we're going to need to extract this Mods and Plugins folder, so I'm just going to put these on my desktop, which will automatically extract them. Here they are now. And now in SideQuest, I'm going to scroll down to Melon Loader, com.stress0.bonelab, and I'm going to drag and drop Mods and Plugins right here, and everything will automatically go where it needs to go. Assuming you've done it right, Mods should have Bonelib DLL and Thunderstorm Mod Assistant, and plugins should have BoneLib Updater and Thunderstorm Mod Assistant plugin. These last few couple of steps are the same on all platforms. Click the fifth link in the description and you'll be taken to the game section of Mod.io. All you need to do is click the little profile icon for my account and log in with whatever you choose to log in with. And if you don't have an account, you can use one of these to make an account. Now, inside of BoneLab, at the main menu or Void G114, head over to Mods, understand except chaos then go to downloads and mod io and you'll be given the option to log in to mod io simply click on mod io login and it'll fetch a mod io code what you're going to do is you're going to go to mod.io slash connect then you're going to enter the five digit code displayed on your device in my case it's dmf t7 and it'll be connected. And then you'll have a download all button. 
The way this download all button works is very simple. Simply click subscribe on any mod you would like to download. And then in Bone Lab, simply click on download all and it'll download whatever you are subscribed to. In my case, Test Chambers is now downloading. Finally, the last way to install mods is to open up your menu, go to preferences, and you'll have a new thing here called Bone Menu. Click on that and then click on Thunderstorm Mod Assistant. This is how you can download code mods such as Bone Lab Fusion and Ragdoll Player. In my case, I'm just gonna download Ragdoll Player. I'm gonna search for Rag, and here's Ragdoll Player, and I'm gonna click Install. And then it'll say Restart Required. When I restart my game, I will now have the Ragdoll Player mod. You can also check which mods you have downloaded by clicking the Thunderstore icon, and you can delete any mods you don't want by simply clicking on Uninstall. And when you restart your game, that mod will be removed. Final notes before you leave. If the game gets an update, you'll likely need to repatch your game with Lemon Loader. However, you probably won't need to repatch your game with Melon Loader if you're on PC. You'll also likely need to clear out your mods folder, featuring all your code mods like Bonelib and Thunderstorm Mod Assistant, and then reinstall Thunderstorm Mod Assistant and Bonelib if the game updates. Other than that, everything should stay good to go for hopefully ever, although if anything important changes, I will update the description or pinned comment to help with anything that may change in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and if this helped, give me a like because I like money, and share this video around because I also like money.